Hello, this is 80s Retro Gamer, and today today we're playing Swiv on the Amstrad CPC 464, and this is a game request by Rob Small from YouTube. Right, apparently this is the second game in a twinergy from Silkworm, and I'll pop that in the end video description at the end for you, so you can compare different games. So let's play this game, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and ding that bell. Let's play on. Now I've not played this game before, just a test run. So let's see how we get on with it. Area one, here we go. Well, the colours are a bit C64 ish. Done with some extra colours, maybe. Could have done with some music, or even some helicopter noises from the believe engine would have been nice. Could have done with some power ups along the way. Oh, oh poop. Real, there's no real colour clash on this, which is nice. Enemy, the um, sprite moves nice and smooth, which is good. Go, 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 go. There weren't no music, I feel. It would have been really nice to have a, had a little bit. I do believe this is a 128k version. Don't know if there's any other versions out there. It's not a bad little schmup. Got him. Four hits for those. Oh, that was one hit. Yeah, it's a bit random with the hitting. Too close there. Oh. Some scores getting nice and big. Got him. Get them before they get you. But 
but you um, you leave off from where you die, which is a good thing in my book. Can't really grumble at that. Five hits, six hits. Got him. So we got an end level boss here. Whoa. So he doesn't really fire at you, he just lunges at you. Whoa. Twin bombs now. Go, 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 go. Refreshing. Whoa. Oh, come off it. Oh, damn you. Done with some extra lives along the way, maybe. Or at least the cheeky continue. Go. It's got that one more go vibe about it. Let's pop the name in here. detail on the choppers there. Whoa. Whoa. Do like a good old schmup. Oh, 
come off here? I went round it. That was a bit, oh, flipping it. That was a bit questionable as well. Go. I mean, the houses could have been a different colour, maybe. That would have been nice. Maybe a different colour for the bombs as well. Yeah, this hitbox detection is a bit out, I think. So you can, have, you can have up to two players on this, <clears throat> which is good. to go which do I prefer this one or the other one um, I think they're about the both the same to be honest I enjoyed Silkworm and I enjoyed this one as, just as much. And I'll pop a video of Silkworm in the description at the end. In the end video. Come on, come on, come on. The scrolling's rather nice as well, I must say. No grumbles there. Got him. Oh, these are the buggers. How many hits does it take to kill them? Seven. Eight hits. Wow. Ah, poop. Oh, what am I doing? No! I'm getting annihilated here. Where's that end level boss coming? Oh, I hate them. I hate those UFOs. Swiv on the Amstrad CPC 464 I think I'll give it about 5.5 out of 10. There's no slowdown which is nice. The colours are a bit C64-ish. I um, wonder if it was a C64 game to be honest. Um, uh, there's no colour clash which is good. The music let it down a little bit as there was none. They could have done with uh, maybe continue. Um, 
but that's my review for this game if you like this review or any of my other reviews like share subscribe and ding that bell we'll be back tomorrow with some more reviews thanks for watching